Have you ever had a doctor accuse or assume you were faking an illness? What's your story? Not me. My daughter. Woke up with intense abdominal pain. Just one look at her and I knew this wasn't a normal stomach ache. I was already driving her to the doctor's office when I called them to schedule the appointment. They said nothing was wrong. She was faking the hysterics to get out of school. I told them to run more tests and do whatever they had to do. They said if it was real it wasn't contagious and would eventually pass so I should take her to school. We left and went to the emergency room monsieur. Within 10 minutes of arrival, she was being rushed to the OR for an appendectomy. That's exactly what happened to my sister. Damn. After reading through these things I gotta wonder. Did you go into the doc's office again later on and tell them that they fucked up? Terrified mother who had all the free time on her hands while her kid was in emergency surgery. I didn't wanna go back. I called from the ear phone. I was so hysterical. I cringed to think of what I probably said. I'm sure I threatened a lawsuit and used more curse words than Carlin had in his arsenal. And they deserved every bit of it. Yeah, I don't remember it super clearly because this was over 10 years ago. But after my emergency appendectomy I still had really bad stomach pains. And the doctor suggested I'd gotten used to the attention and was just faking it. Luckily, my dad had taught the radiologist's son and they were able to sneak me back. Literally behind the doctor's back. I'm pretty sure they did an x-ray because my memory is of a big black picture being printed out and handed to the doctor who turned white as a ghost and started screaming at everyone I was unceremoniously thrown onto a gurney and I remember being like sheesh everyone and they announced over the loudspeaker to get out of the hallway they wheeled me down my mom was the only one who seemed calm and she jogged next to me on the way to the to the surgery room monsieur the first surgery there was all this sweetness and like, okay, I'm going to put the mask on you and you can count backward from 15. Tell me when you're ready. And this time they just threw it on and the last thing I thought was like, hey, rude. I stayed in the hospital for about a month and actually had an awesome time. Nobody told me I almost died, which was really smart. I didn't need to know that. I just watched Sailor Moon ate jello. I got cool letters and stuffed animals and balloons sometimes from my dad's students. My school made this weird video of everyone wishing me well. Apparently they didn't get all the acid out during the first surgery. And it was just burning a hole over to my liver or kidney or something. If it had reached whichever vital organ it was, it would have shut down completely. And I definitely would have died. Well that must have been a wild trip. Also, appendicitis sucks ass already so I can't imagine even more pain after that. I was pregnant with my son and having severe pain in my ribs. My doc told me I was overreacting and it was probably a pulled muscle and to go home. Five days later, my son was born by emergency C-section. Because I was in danger of having a stroke. I had something similar happen to me. I was 39 weeks pregnant and having upper abdominal pain. They treated me like a drug addict. But ultimately told me it was my gallbladder and sent me home without checking my son. I woke up the next morning and he was dead. I had undiagnosed HELP syndrome. A severe form of preeclampsia and went into shock after I was finally admitted to the hospital to give birth to my now dead child. I am sorry that happened to you and sorry for your loss. I was also diagnosed with help at 28 weeks. My gas pain ended up being an IUD shoving through my uterus. For weeks I was told I was faking. For years I had bad pelvic pain throughout my whole menstrual cycle that several doctors kept brushing off as part of being a woman. Despite a strong family history of endometriosis and blood tests showing severe anemia, I was told to take some ibuprofen and get on with it. Eventually, I ended up in the ICU cause all the NSAIDs I was taking for all the pain had destroyed my intestines. 
pickled my liver and damaged my kidneys as well as the endo causing bad scarring all over my abdomen. I ended up having to have 90% of my small bowel in my right ovary removed, as well as having a 3-month stay in hospital on various drugs and treatments to try and repair the damage to my liver and kidneys. Even now, 4 years on from the hospital stay, I am still suffering from the after effects of it all. I can't help feeling slightly bitter that if just one doctor had treated me seriously at 21, I would have been a much healthier, happier woman right now. When I started my period at 13 I would get horrible cramps to the point that I would cry and wouldn't be able to do anything. I went to doctors for help for many years until finally 12 years later I was told I had endometriosis and they had to perform surgery. They removed one of my ovaries because it had spread that bad. Thanks a lot past doctors who would say, it's just period cramps. It's amazing how many people feel like pain is just a part of being born female and that we should just get used to it. It's bullshit. Yep, was bleeding for three weeks out of every month and swollen up like I was five months pregnant. And the pain. Unbelievable. Especially in my C-section scar. Two doctors told me pain there was impossible. I finally passed out at work and had to have a transfusion I had lost so much blood. My new GYN performed a hysterectomy and every inch of my reproductive organs were consumed with endometriosis, radical hysterectomy. I'm so sorry, I hope you are doing a lot better now. I have passed out and vomited from the pain, and my male doctor told me that was normal. So I went home crying, got a diagnosis 10 years later when I had to start getting doctor's notes for my work for my periods and she told me it wasn't normal. A doctor told me, if you do something nice for yourself, like do your hair, you'll be fine. A few brain and spine surgeries, and four dozen on other parts. Later, I am rather convinced being nice to myself wouldn't have cured what turned out to be a serious, incurable illness. This just, I really want to punch someone in the fucking face in your behalf. What the actual fuck? Yo, EDS buddy, I think being belittled and fucked over by doctors is another symptom of our syndrome. LMAO, fuck that doctor. I broke my wrist pretty badly in high school. The school nurse did believe me and sent me back to class and told all the teachers I was faking. It, I spent the next six hours in excruciating pain. I walked home from school by myself and my mom obviously took me to an E to get an X-ray and a cast. My mom was furious and complained to the school. They made the nurse apologize to me. Which she did. Kind of. Same happened to me. Wrist got hit with a ball while playing sport. The school nurse was examining me and twisted my arm round to see what was hurting. I screamed out in pain and she just said, it's a bruise. Stop your screeching. Went to A&E and found out it was fractured. Six weeks in a cast for my bruise. Pneumonia. I had two visits with a pediatrician who told me my symptoms were psychosomatic. It kept getting worse. I could not fucking breathe. And I was taken to her colleague in the same practice for another opinion. This colleague was actually competent and probably got a real MD from a real university. Appropriate tests were run. Pneumonia in both lungs. Ultimately found to be antibiotic resistant. That second doctor saved my life. Yes for many years. I suffer pain that cannot be explained they treated me like I was just after drugs. I finally got diagnosed with fibromyalgia this year thumbs up. Yeah, multiple times. Goes to show a few things honestly. I've had epilepsy my entire life. When I was young and told a doctor he laughed with my mother about how I was lying for attention and really dug in. She's never really believed me. Always siding with anyone else. Well, it was very real. Ruined my attempt at college. And after six years of no seizures I had one two weeks ago and felt pretty rough. Still have a cut on my back from it too. I told him the truth and he refused to accept it. 
Years later the issue he dismissed as almost killed me on multiple occasions. I kinda hate doctors because of it. Not doctors, but Navy corpsmen. Which you basically have to convince some moron who did four weeks of watered-down medical training that your condition is bad enough to actually see the guy who graduated last in his class from medical school. I had coughed up blood several times. The SECPND time I went into medical, I had been coughing up blood into a cup as I crossed the aircraft carrier to reach the monsieur, because it had stopped before I got there. They didn't believe me, and took an x-ray to prove it, since x-rays don't show soft tissue well. Yeah, next time I started coughing up blood was a few days later in the middle of the base commissary grocery store. At the least the corpsmen assigned to be ambulance riders backed me up that time that yes, I really had been coughing up blood. A little lung surgery and it stopped. Man, I have feelings about the Navy and health. My Phil internalized the whole tough man culture of not asking for help with anything and refused to go to doctors. Collapsed this past November. Wife called an ambulance. He finally admitted he'd been coughing up blood for weeks. By the time they took him to the hospital it was pretty much too late. Combination of a respiratory illness way too far gone and having smoked in his youth meant that his body was basically too weak to survive any kind of treatment. Moved to hospice and died some weeks later. My dad, not a veteran, also died of lung cancer last month refuse to see the doctor and go through chemo for the second time. Yes, my entire childhood I had the doctor tell my mom I was lying about my abdominal pain. He always asked if it was on the right and I said no the left. He said there was nothing there to hurt. You'd think my consistency would have been a clue I was telling the truth. This one is my favorite. A doctor who doesn't know basic anatomy. People just have a void in their left abdomen. Yeah, what was it? When I was pregnant with my first child, I started having horrible pain in my upper right side that radiated straight through to my back. Like, awful, can't breathe, a million on a scale of 1 to 10 pain. My doctor said it's probably just indigestion and told me to take antacids. I believed him, but antacids did nothing to help. This pain went on for three horrible years. I lost about 60 pounds before I finally ended up in the hospital. Turns out my gallbladder was literally full of stones and a couple ended up getting lodged into the common bile duct of my liver. I became jaundiced and had to have two emergency surgeries. First to remove the stones from my liver and then to remove my gallbladder. Good times. It was lupus despite the jokes referenced from the TV show, House. Lies, deception, it's never lupus s. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.